Well, hello. Thank you for joining me. Um, my name is Darren. I'm Darren Litton, the writer and creator of Benidorm, the ITV comedy. <laughs> um, I've never done this before. I don't mean comedy. I mean, I've never done a sort of podcasty thing. And I want to say thank you to Duncan Oldham, who my mate Duncan, who has taught me how to do all this stuff. Look, that's me squiggling me cursor around on this and you've been asking questions well i hope you have uh if you haven't i'm gonna look a bit of a fool so let's have a look benedorm uncut let's see there are there are some questions uh there are some questions they're probably all there's a few questions there you go that's okay uh all questions i think that's it okay let's start now um there might be, there's probably about four questions and then a million questions about the Garveys. Why did the Garveys leave? So we'll do that at one point. Um, so don't think I'm glossing over your um, questions. Uh, okay, it's getting boring now, so let's just get on with it. So, Danny, let's see what you've said. When's my guest appearance on the show? Um, it isn't. Next question. Uh, Matthew, uh, do you think you will be able to get some of the old cast for future series of Benidorm? Well, who knows? You know, from year to year, we always, uh, we, we never know um, if there's going to be another series of Benidorm. So we just take life as it comes, which I think is a good way of, of living, to be honest. So, Adam, do you have any other destinations in mind for the setting or was your mind on Benidorm right from the very beginning? Uh, oh, did I have any uh, other destinations? Uh, well, when I wrote the show, it was basically, um, I started with a sketch about two swingers, middle-aged swingers, and it was set in a, a suburban house. And I thought that was a bit dull, so I changed the location to um, around a swimming pool on a holiday, on a package holiday. So no, at that point, I had no idea. I'd never been to Benidorm. Uh, in fact, when the show got commissioned, um, I had to go to Benidorm uh, to see if it was <laughs> if it was going to work. Um, anyway, and I think it did uh, of sorts. Okay, so Nigel next. Hi, do we see the Garveys back in Benidorm or a Vegas spin-off? Well, as I said before, we never know if there's an, uh, an eighth series hasn't been announced yet by ITV. Um, so we don't know about that. Would I like to do a Garvey's, um, would like to see the Garvey's back again? Yeah, of course I would. Of course I would. And would I like a free trip to Vegas? You bet. Okay, Jane, you have had some top named celebs. Is there one celeb? Oh, shit. I just realized I'm missing celeb big brother for this. Oh dear. Anyway, you've had some top named celebs. Is there one celeb you would love to cast who's not been in it? Yeah, there are lots, Jane, but they're more or less all dead, to be honest. Um, not that that stopped us before uh, from having them in the show, but I would love to have had um, Les Dawson. I'd love to have had Roy Kinnear. Um, who else? Oh, lots of people. Um, Leonard Rossiter. Oh, probably people that <laughs> probably wouldn't have done it, but... Maybe Roy Kinnear would have done. I was a big fan of his. Uh, Sarah Lou, do you, uh, do you ever consider new actors to play? Did you ever con uh, consider new actors to play Donald and Mel rather than write them out when you lost Kenny and Jeff, Jeffrey? Um, no, it was never really an option. I think the only reason that might happen would be if something happened to an actor in the middle of shooting and we had to. But then again, you know, do you reshoot all the scenes with another actor from the beginning? Or if you're right at the end, you probably can't. So do you just cut the rest of the scenes? Or I don't know. It's it's such a it's such a difficult thing. Thank goodness we've never had that. But no, I never, I, nobody could, no, go. It was so difficult to try and get somebody to play Donald that wasn't like a creepy perv, you know. Uh, Kenny was absolutely amazing. And you couldn't replace replace Jeffrey Hutchins, could you? Let's face it. Okay, uh, Linda, how is the book going and when will it be on sale? Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am writing a book at the moment. It, the working title is The Benidorm Diaries. 
uh, when I started writing it, I thought, or oh, before I started writing it, I did think, oh, is this going to be crap? Because obviously I can't, you know, put in all the inflammatory, you know, sort of stuff that people will be able to sue me over. And I wouldn't want to, you know, I wouldn't want it to be a, an unpleasant book. But there are so many stories, obviously, as you can imagine, from over the uh, seven series that um, uh, I'm really surprised that it turns... If I was a fan of the show, I would I would be enjoy, I would enjoy reading it, and I'm enjoying writing it. But I'm so busy with other stuff that it, that literally is my hobby at the moment. Um, when will it be on sale? I don't know. Hopefully next year, uh, but we'll see. Uh, will there be a, uh, this is Neil, will there be a series eight? Um, I don't know. Uh, Pat, what gave the idea of pairing off Kenneth with Liam? Are you pleased with the outcome? Ingenious idea. Um, I don't know. People ask where, well, sometimes it's, it's casting, it's availability. Uh, sometimes it's, um, uh, I don't know. How did that happen? Um, I think they just gravitated to <laughs> <laughs> towards each other as fabulous people often do uh sam will donald be given final closure this series or will he continue to wife swap for the foreseeable future you'll have to keep watching sam uh ian if you had the chance to bring a new family to benedon with no restrictions whatsoever who would you have um who what do you mean like actors or you mean actors i suppose don't know. I, if I was going to write a new uh, family, I'd write it and then we would cast it. So that's the process it would go in. So I'd have to wait until I'd finished writing it before we knew. And it's not just me. Obviously, there's a whole team of people. There's, um, you know, the producer, the director, there's the um, head of um, uh, all sorts of this ITV. It's not just me. You know, it's not just me. Um, did I just say that? It's not just me. Good God. I, it's really pain me to say that. Okay, Wayne, I watched your birthday countdown. What? I watched your birthday countdown the other week, and it's my 40th. Oh, and yeah, I had, I was in a really silly mood on Twitter. I did a, like a, my birthday's really near Christmas, and I think I was just sitting, feeling sorry for myself, and, because it's right, it's literally the 21st of December, a date for your diaries. Um, and um, I did do a birthday countdown on Twitter. It was a bit of a piss take. You know, I'd, I'm not that self-obsessed. Oh, he says. Um, can you have a birthday countdown? Yeah, yeah, you, you do that, Wayne, and, and I'll count it down with you. Bless your heart. Oh, it's your birthday today. Oh, we've missed it. Never mind. Um, Ali Bongo. Not the really. Not, I knew Ali Bongo when he was alive. He didn't look like that. Uh, who will fill the Garvey's place? Nobody can fill the Garvey's place. They were original one-offs. Lau Bro, something, 18. Would you consider setting the show in another country or resort? Well, then it wouldn't be called Benidorm, so no. Um, will you give... Gavin, his partner back, Feathered Bob and Charity Shop Clothes is a brilliant line. Gavin, his partner back. Uh, Gavin's partner. Uh, you mean Troy? You mean Troy? Is that who you mean? I don't know who you mean. Um, uh, well, we're not in this series. They're not in this series. That's all I can tell you. I can't read that name. How do you keep? How do you keep the so the show so fresh? And are any of the characters based on people you have met? Well, look, that's two questions. You're just being a bit greedy now. Um, cult. What's that? Cult? Culto vihifus. Um Sorry, were there questions there? How do you keep the show so fresh? Well, that's very kind of you. I don't know. I've just got a strange imagination. And are there any characters based on people that you've met? Yes, quite a few. <laughs> Let's not go into that. It's hardly a compliment, is it? Um, Sarah Lou, again, Sarah Lou, you've asked one question already. All right, you can have one more. If you could write for any other comedy show, sitcom, past or present, which would it be? Well, I have written for other shows. I've written for, um, I wrote a couple of episodes of a green, uh, the, green, the Green Green Grass for John Sullivan. And, of course, I wrote for Catherine, the Catherine Tate show. And um, 
I've written for Harry Enfield, and I've written for Dame Edna Everidge. Uh, who else? Um, what would well? I think I'd like to just write my own shows, really, from now on. But who knows? Maybe that's maybe that won't work out. I'll be begging for work. Um, you know, this time next year, I bet. Well, maybe not next year, but the year after. Why don't you film an episode in Peppermint Bar? Um, I think we have. Is that that's a bar in the old town, isn't it? I think we. I think we have. Yeah, the one where Johnny uh, was was before he got his went for his date. I think I can't remember. Um, Lisa two o one one. I have asked two questions and no reply. Well, we're working backwards, Lisa. So don't cry, you little you little yellow little face there, little crying little yellow face. Uh, let's see. Your Middlesbrough jokes make me laugh, but why did the swingers have to be from Borough? Borough. Uh, they didn't have to be. I chose that they were from Middlesbrough. Uh, MSA, the Middlesbrough Swingers Association, it just sounded, I don't know, sounded right. Got nothing against Middlesbrough. It's um, it's a very um, it's a very Middlesbrough type of place. Uh, Kath, can you ask Jake? Uh, no, you can ask him yourself. You've had some amazing. This is Fran Francesca. 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 <laughs> You've had some amazing guest stars as characters on the show. Do you have a wish list of legends you'd like to have on the show? I think we've had most of them, really. Do you know who I really wanted? And we tried. And I think the answer was that he he's not keen on flying. I'd have loved Ken Dodd in the show. He's, because he's a very good actor as well, actually. Now, look, we've done quite a lot of these. Are there many left? We'll go for a bit longer, but I don't want you to get bored. If this is if this was the theatre, you'd be stopping. We'd all have a ice cream now, but you can pause that, I suppose, and come back. Okay, Dan, what's your favourite episode series? Uh, very difficult. I don't know. Do you have children? Do you have a favourite child? Of course, you have a favourite child. You like the pretty one. You don't like the ugly one. Um, the I love episode two series. But, uh, what's the one where they, he sings here in my heart um, and uh, Mick as they go to the waterfalls of Algar and it's series three is it oh god I, my head's all mashed I don't know uh, anyway that's a, that kind of was my favourite but I think I have a new favourite I think my favourite episode now is Series 7, Episode 7. But you've got a while to wait for that, haven't you? Unless you're listening and watching this after Episode 7. In which case, where did you buy your time machine? Very good. Okay, Lee Michael. I like Benidorm. Oh, these always start off well. And I like Benidorm, but I missed, I missed the point of Glyn Flint. I just don't understand how he's funny. We didn't say he was funny. I think I love the character of Glyn, and I think he's hilarious. So, Lee, you can't please all the people all of the time. I guess that's it. We all have our favourites. Uh, Dan, would you ever bring back Squirrel and Big Cock? Um, well, we've had him back twice, and, of course, Matthew Kelly is fantastic, but uh, the door is always open. See, all these things about, you know, when you have these characters back and stuff, we don't know if there's going to be another series or not or maybe i know and i'm just not allowed to say anyway gary would you ever consider a crossover with another show no eastenders will you miss the garvey family i do zoe sue my mum asks if you could act a character who is already in benedorm which character and why if you could act oh if i would be uh, okay yeah i i would either play if we started from the beginning and i put myself in it which i've Sometimes I wish I had done. Sometimes I'm glad people aren't coming up to me in Morrison's and asking for my picture when I look like shit. So uh, kind of glad that I didn't really. But at the beginning when I wrote it, I thought, okay, I can either play Mick or I can play the Oracle. Um, but how could we not have Steve Pemberton and how could we not have Johnny? So I think I made the right decision. Um, Sam, biggest coup you've brought to Benidorm biggest coup 
Um, it's like a big fat pigeon, big as coo. Uh, well, of course, it has to be Joan Collins, Dame Joan Collins. Sarah, oh, have you not had one, Sarah? Um, a question, I mean, how long does a series take to write, and what character you have written is your favourite? I think my favourite character is probably, well, a few, but probably Pauline. Uh, and how long does a series take to write? Uh, I think the, the I've written an episode in four days, and I've taken two months to write an episode. So it depends whether the muse is upon me. Um, oh, I'm getting really sick of the sound of my own voice. We might have to put like music in the back of this or something, maybe. Um, Natalie, me and my friends. Natalie, it's my friends and I. Next question. Um, but, no, I'm only joking. Let's, me and my friends are coming to ben, out to Benidorm for my 40th. Can we be extras? No. Uh, Joe, can we get a hot gay character like Tiger? Joe, come, for, for flip's sake, Joe, this is not, you know, um, yeah. Um, see what I can do. Um, well, hang on. How do you know Tiger isn't gay? He just, he, I think he's going through a very difficult heterosexual phase. I don't know what that must be like, but I, I imagine it's hell. Um, no, Tiger isn't gay, but um, well, look, we can have hot. Look, can we stop getting bogged down in this whole hot gay thing? Um, Lauren, fave character and episode, and why we've done that. What's going to happen to the manager? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, you've had lots of um, questions. Sorry, what's your name? Eastenders. Sorry, you've had too many questions, but I love you. Natalie, oh, same people, isn't it? Have you not got a telly, you people, sitting here writing questions? Bless you, I love you all. Uh, will the guys come back next season? No. Um, oh, that's from me. <laughs> Fucking hell, was I that desperate asking me self questions? Simon, have you have you thought about doing a film version similar to Camp Carry On, to Camp Comedy? Camp Comedy? How very dare you. 25 years I've been doing comedy, I've never once thought it was camping my life dear um have i thought about doing a film uh we've thought about it i've always said i don't want to do it i don't think it'd work as a film personally what inspired you to start the program um i needed to pay my mortgage um uh, no that's not true um i'd done the two series with the Catherine tate show and the producer of that show jeffrey perkins asked me to write my own show so the answer is somebody asked me and i think I've, we've gone about how I started to write the show, so we've done that bit. Zach, ha, who have you found most entertaining to work with? Do you hope to bring the gay couple back? Oh, it's very getting very gay. This isn't getting very bogged down in a big gay cesspit, really. Uh, welcome to my world. Um, who have you found most entertaining to work with? Uh, over the, I think consistently over the years, Steve Pemberton is a genius as we know um and so it's probably steve uh oh eastenders we really have to get your hobby don't we because you're you're asking a lot of questions but it's nice what's the best part of filming benadorm uh at the end when i get paid alex why did the guy of his leave so quickly it almost felt rushed uh well i suppose it was a bit rushed um what happened, Alex, is that uh, Steve and uh, Siobhan and um, Sheila uh, uh, said that they wanted to leave at the end of filming series six. So I asked them as a favour, because of course we, 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 I didn't know, we couldn't change the story, so I asked them if they would as a favor come back and just do we couldn't i mean it'd be really rushed in one episode so i asked them to do two episodes and they all said yes and ollie as well who plays michael um they all said yes so we had to do it in two episodes so i think you're probably kind of right alex it probably was a bit rushed but um that's what we had to work with okay jordan can i have your job yeah when i finished with it uh, how long does it take a whole film, a whole series? It's about, well, to film it, to shoot it, probably it takes about three months and a little bit more, uh, maybe. Um, 
uh, and uh, but then of course I've got to write it before that and then we've got to edit it after that Sarah out of all seven series which is your personal favorite or funniest scene uh oh, funniest scene oh that's very difficult um I don't know I don't know maybe I'll come back to that Kerry will there be a Christmas special this year uh no Maria would you ever play a part in Benidorm I have done you when you missed me Maria were you not watching and will Miss Temple Savage ever find true love following the show uh, loving oh, loving the show oh bless you Maria I'm loving your question um I, yeah I've played lots of parts in Benidorm this I play most recently uh Crystal Hennessy Vass's uh chauffeur that's me um he's called Elvis which is quite ironic because I look like Engelbert Humperdinck in it um and um I think I'm in episode five is that this week or is it episode four this week I've lost track anyway look out for me hey look out for me um Rachel are you planning any spin-offs when this great show ends planning them no how on earth do you come up with such great ideas for series seven do you have a method to spark them off yes it's called alcohol carol how about kenneth dubeck in his own series carol are you tony maudsley's agent by any chance i love kenneth dubeck and i think his series would be great uh, Ian, is Pauline the Pisshead going to come back? Uh, as I've already said, Pauline is my favourite character. And if we did another series, I'd sincerely hope we could. All these things depend on, you know, actors' availability uh, and um, all sorts of, uh, you know, permutations. So we hope. Who would you dream, who would your dream family be to visit the Solana? Osborns or the Kardashians? Uh, I've never seen the Kardashians, apart from that woman's big fat ass. Um, so I don't know about them. Um, the Osbournes, I love Sharon Osbourne, of course. She's camp as a Brighton bus stop. W who wouldn't love Sharon Osbourne? Um, yeah, the Osbournes. I think they'd fit in a bit. I think the Kardashians are a bit too sort of bit too plastic, aren't they? They're a bit too inverted commas glamorous. We'd want the Osbournes. Um, what did what did Madge say once about some people as they walked past extras? Hammer House of Horror. Um, Clyde, bubble, bubble. What? Just wondered. Are are you drunk, Clyde? I uh, just wondered. Are real guests allowed to stay at the salon when you're filming? Yes. Do you book in bubble. The fuck's bubble? Is there a series eight? We've done that. Is there a series eight? Done that. Colin, are any of your characters based on people you know? And if so, do they recognise themselves? Yes, a few are. No, they've never recognised themselves. Nick, will any of the Garveys return to the show? I think we've done that. Is there a special in mind in Las Vegas? That would be hilarious, Matt. Good question. Um, I'd love to do a, a special in Vegas. Don't know. Write to ITV and ask them. Just want to say, great show. Oh, bless you. Um, Lynn, why are the Garveys not in it anymore? I think. We've done that, Lynn. Thank you. If you could pick any famous person in the world to star in an episode, who would it be? We've done that. Can I get a part as Liam's sister? No. How do you get a part as an extra? Um, you. Uh, that's a good question, actually. Um, I am, I've got a new website that's coming shortly, and there will be details on there. But basically, it's a separate company. Uh, in Spain that do the extra work you do have to be a resident of Spain and you need an, uh, an NIE number a knee number which is the Spanish equivalent of a national insurance number so I think that probably rules you out already Lisa but if it doesn't if you do live in Spain um, then check my website out it'll be about another week but check it out it should say there Mitchell Webb if you could bring any character any actor dead or alive to play a part who would you love to cast? Any actor, dead or alive, I would say uh, Oliver Reed, dead. Um, will we ever see Gavin or Troy visit again? Maybe so. In the Christmas... Now, hang on, it's starting to get into the Mitchell Webb show here, Mitchell. Uh, in the Christmas special a few years ago, Noreen got engaged. Uh, no, she didn't. 
but we have never heard what became of him. No, uh, it won't be addressed because she didn't get engaged. He, she was proposed to. She certainly did not get engaged. Would you ever think of doing a spin-off featuring the Garveys in their new life? No, possibly as a one-off special, but not a series. Okay, I'm getting bored now. Um, and God knows how you must feel. What do local politicians and authorities feel about the series? Uh, uh, how the town and community are portrayed? They are very happy. I've met the um, the current mayor a couple of times, and they were they've actually uh, given me a plaque in uh, Benidorm, which was unveiled in a lovely ceremony with the mayor and myself, and um, I was very honoured. Uh, for sort of services to tourism, which is lovely. Um, were other hotels considered as the location of the series? Yes, they were. I think, uh, weirdly enough, the Solana was the first one we looked at. Then we looked at, I think, two or three more, but the the uh, Polykonos, rather, was the, the best one. Steve, any plans for a Benidorm musical or UK stage tour version? Uh, I would love to do a stage show of Benidorm. We've actually tried the last three, two or three years, um, and um, it, we haven't, for various reasons, it hasn't got together. Uh, but, you, you know, never say never. Uh, Grant, will Hugh Sachs be back? I love Gavin, Tony Maudsley, and Tony Maudsley. Well, Tony Maudsley's in it, uh, as far as other characters go. Uh, never say never, that's what I say. If there is another series, let's see. Uh, who are you looking f what are you looking for in set locations some great locations always used um well we always try and show a lot of benidorm uh, but of course this series is filmed so we've done all those locations are you casting anytime soon no uh what actual made you create such a brilliant such brilliance for every english person that scene to benidorm will connect with this is uh, do I have to read this backwards or something? Is there are there secret messages in this, James? Uh, thank you for your question. I think there was a question somewhere there. Kevin, is there any chance of Pauline coming back? I would love to see Pauline. Ryan, you've lost a main part of the gar part of the show in the Garvey's. Are there any other new families coming? Not in this series. Would you ever consider a live episode? Uh, no, that would be terrible. We'd have to edit out all the bits. When people turn up drunk. Uh, bring back Mr. Wu. Yes, I agree. Benedon fan. Hello. Who's your favorite character and why? I think we've done that. Lee. Obviously, it's not the same without the Garvey's. Have you any plans to bring in another family? Not during this series, Lee. Will you be told? Uh, how do you get the great Tony Mosley into those shorts? Uh, two hot spoons and half a pack of Stork SB. Um, of course, that's not true. We actually use um, Lurpak. Uh, Carlos, when editing as writer and creator, do you have the final say in what goes into the episodes and what gets left out? I don't have final say, but I really, really sulk if I don't get final say. But no, it's a, it's a, it's a joint decision. But I do get final say. But I don't really. But, but I do. But I don't really. Um, what are your comedic inspirations no it's the director <laughs> yeah. what are your comedic inspirations for your style of humour do I have a style of humour my comedic inspirations my inspirations are uh, sitcoms uh, quite clearly carry on films uh, you know uh, this is where your mind always goes blank um, porridge um, are you being served rising damp I loved all those sort of seventies, Robin's Nest, uh, Till Death Do Us Part, um, and other things like Mel Brooks. Although I don't, I don't well, I suppose my, my humour is a bit. Mel Brooks is quite broad. Um, I think it's laugh out loud humour. You know, if you watch the stuff, I know the show is very broad and very sort of in your face. It's not subtle. Uh, it's, I don't think you'd call it sophisticated, really. Um, but I think, you know, if I, most of the time, if I watch a comedy, I'd like to laugh. I don't want to sit there rubbing my chin and go, hmm, that's clever. Because then that's not a comedy. That's a documentary. 
Um, Bobby, okay, I've got a second win now. You've all turned off by now, clearly. Of this has been going on far too long, but anyway, um, you have had word. Have you had word yet? Another series? No. Ha uh, hi, Darren. Have you any? Are you at any of the cast? Eight at the Chinese. You call Mister Wu's. I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, uh, <coughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. Um, oh, God, I was seeing stars. That's I've probably edited those out, but um, here we are. Hi, Darren. Uh, have you ate at the Chinese? No, we filmed in there, but I've not eaten in there. Um, I've always preferred uncut. Bened well, we've not seen... Uh, you've not seen Benadrom? Well, I suppose you have seen, but... Oh. I see what you mean. Um, Paul, with so many fab characters, how do you choose which ones to bring back for the next series? Uh, availability is plays a big part. Um, if, uh, if I can think of any more storylines, obviously some characters are associated with other characters. If one can and one can't, we have to... It's very, it's very complicated. Carrie, will the outtakes on Series 7 DVD include Kenneth and Mr. Wu... Uh, yes, they will, Kerry. Uh, hi, how can an unknown get an audition for the show? Very difficult, Marion, very difficult. I would, at uh, first stage, ask your agent. Uh, Carlos, you've had a, you've had a question already, but I'm, I don't, but you're very nice, so I don't mind. When right, I say you're very nice, you get drunk and say nice things to me on Twitter. You're, I, uh, which is good. When writing in a new character, do you already have an actor in mind to play the part? Sometimes, yes. And sometimes they're not available. On one or two occasions, they didn't want to do it. Um, and um, But a lot of the time, we do get the person, which is great. We've had that question. Uh, we've had that question. Uh, it was it was good to hear Fleetwood getting a mention on Friday's show. Have you any connection with Fleetwood? Uh, my father was born in Fleetwood. Um, okay, we nearly it must be at the end now. Uh, Stephen, uh, why isn't it funny anymore? Uh, well, it, we've had great we've had real time restraints on the show recently, Stephen, and we've had to uh, edit out all the jokes. Um, and that's why it's not funny anymore. And why are you a rude? Uh. Um, Matty, uh, what would you say was the best thing about writing and filming Benidorm? Um, the best thing about writing and filming it, all the friends that I met that are all still my friends now and will be for life. My, we'll imagine the guys be back. I've done that. What's your favorite? I've done that. Will be another series. Done that. Okay, that's more or less it now. Uh, do you have any plans for a Benadrom spin-off? Okay, let's just whiz through the through these. I think I've answered all the questions now. Um, well, look. Thank you so. M there are look, there are lots more questions. Um, I think that's enough. We've all had enough, haven't we? You can have too much of a good thing. I think. Oh, here's one. Look. When will Danny stop ignoring me? Um, this is I. Oh no, Mc McFlewis or something. When will Danny stop ignoring me? Well, maybe if you stop shouting, if you stop shouting, then he might stop ignoring you with your capital letters. Um, any chance I could be an extra on the show? No. Uh, are the guys coming back? We've done all this. Hey, ugh. Okay, that's it. Will he bring back Michael Garvey? He's cute. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe. Any, you know, who knows? Um, will will be class, mate. Will be a great laugh. Sorry, do you have a question? Ha ha ha! Sound. Okay, now we've now descended. There's just like a con I'm just feel like I'm looking on your conversations. It's like working for the news of the world, tapping into your phones. Ha ha, it's all coming out now. Well, this is just... Come on, Ross, John and Clark. I think you all need to get a room together. Um, okay, that's it. Thank you so much. If you've uh, had half the amount of fun that I've had doing this, you're probably dead now. Um, 
Thanks for tuning in. As I say, this is going to be a new YouTube channel. I don't understand all this. It's Duncan that does it. Um, and he's very, very clever. Uh, he's my one-man IT department. Well, he's my mate. Um, but he's also... <laughs> um, my IT department because he's lovely and and uh, helps me out with all this stuff. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching the show. And um, keep tuned. Uh, subscribe uh, to this uh, Benidorm Uncut YouTube channel. And there'll be lots more things soon. And they will be more interesting than this. I promise you they couldn't be worse, could they? All right, see you later. Bye.